My name is Jana Yunusova and I'm an Associate Professor of Speech-Language Pathology at the University of Toronto. I also hold an Associate Scientist position at Sunnybrook Research Institute, the site of one of the largest ALS clinics in Canada. I direct Bulbar Function Laboratory that includes three graduate students, a research coordinator, and five research assistants and volunteers. I've been studying Bulbar ALS for over 10 years now, first as a graduate student, then as a postdoctoral fellow, and now as a researcher. Bulbar ALS is one of the most devastating form of the disease. It affects speech and swallowing functions, the functions that make us uniquely human, um, that are responsible for our communication, social interactions, and relationships. I was asked why uh, or what drew me to research in Bulbar ALS. First, as a clinical speech-language pathologist, I got drawn to the patients and their families, the uh, wonderful people that I worked with clinically. Bulbar ALS is not well studied and understood. The majority of questions that have to do with who will get Bulbar ALS, how it will progress over time, who will get the disease and who will not remain unanswered. The lack of knowledge is largely due to the inability of studying speech and swallowing functions instrumentally due to lack of technology. Speech and swallowing organs are hidden from the direct sight and require specialized technology. Recent technological developments, however, allow us to open a new chapter in understanding the Bulbar ALS. And there is a lot of optimism now that we can gain new knowledge and help our patients clinically and uh, move research forward in this area. My research program encompasses a number of very basic objectives. The first objective is to develop novel instrumental clinically relevant assessment methods to ensure early diagnosis of Bulbar ALS. By the time the disease is diagnosed, the majority of motor neurons are unrepairably damaged. So early diagnosis of ALS, including its Bulbar form, is crucial for our success in patient recruitment for clinical trials and the development of novel pharmacological interventions. The second objective of my research program is to track disease progression and understand variability of Bulbar ALS in detail. Currently, we group oh. all ALS patients together for clinical trials. However, we're starting to understand that this might not be appropriate. Understanding the subgroups of ALS will open a new chapter in the development of pharmacological treatments and eventually finding a cure of ALS. The third goal of my work is to understand neuroanatomic reasons for ball bar motor and cognitive decline in ALS. This work is extremely important because it allows us to understand ALS and its progression through the central nervous system. That area of research is still lacking in ALS and also it allows us to understand more deeply the complex brain behavior relationships. Three years ago, our team received ALS Canada Bernice Ramsey Discovery Grant to study neuroanatomic correlates of bulbar motor and cognitive decline in ALS. We finished our study about a year ago and now have three manuscripts in preparation. Patients with ALS exhibited very specific cognitive deficits and we also located the seeds of these deficits in the frontal lobes. As research careers go, I'm only in the beginning of mine. In the past few years, I laid solid foundation for the future work. I would like to emphasize the role of ALS Canada in jump-starting my research career by providing funds for pilot work. Through ALS Canada, I would like to thank all the donors with contributions small and large for providing resources for junior faculty to begin their research careers and influence science and clinical practice in ALS. Thank you.